Mother, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. You are my son and heir, Dwight. I have given you these things because you have a responsibility. I know, Mother. I hope you do. If you and your children and their children cannot find a way to spread the great lighthouses all along the coast, I don't know what will stop those things from the fathomless deeps coming up and ruining everything that has been built since we've been recovering from the war. It feels like civilization is only just getting back on its feet, and if those things return before we're ready, they won't, Mother. I understand my duty. Hello and welcome, Connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3. We are here once again with Grace of the Fathomous Clan Laverty, about to conquer Prince Edward Island for our young son. I think this is the beginning of the next stage. The beginning of everything. The beginning of our quest to protect all people from the terrors of the sea. Okay, Let's just get you to come in. Please join us, Morgan Le Fay. It is essential that you help us. Avalon must come to our aid. I am somewhat concerned that this won't work. Must be said. By somewhat concerned, I'm very concerned this won't work. Let's hit the ground. I don't think he's going to want to attack me on his own, so you finally finished that control task. That's great. Let's, um... Let's grab the control task here now. We're just waiting for the penalty to go away. That's really all we're doing. Making acquaintances. My son Dwight seems to enjoy our latest feasts immensely. He got along quite well with everybody. Is he going to have the exact same traits as me? No, I'm brave. He's gregarious. Wow. What a kid. Diligent, just, gregarious. So he does take after us in many ways. Yeah, he seems to really like to party a little bit more than we do. He might have made a better di diplomat, you know, in another life. He's quite the steward, too. Like, he's just got great traits. Hopefully his education pulls this seven up. Otherwise, he's never going to be a great commander. It's all right, though. I mean... It's good to have secondary d needs, right? Yeah. So we are going to just... Check and see how long this is for nine days. It'll take us nine more than mine, nine days to walk over there. Nope, it won't. So just wait this out then. Now we win, which is what we were expecting. Our Screecher maimed Dunnall at risk. Our Screecher Zachary also maimed somebody. We captured an enemy. They are... Are they helping us win? No, they are not helping us win. So we will... Ransom them immediately. To help pay for the war. I am going to... Drop besiegers. But maybe head this way, see if our ally follows us if we head this way, or if he follows us. Good. And this is the besiegers. That's good. Oh, she's a good commander. And she's got that the great uh, military engineer trade as well. Okay. So we gained a weak hook on the Duke. He did not have... Anything to give us except the hook. That's fine. We're good with that. We will hold this spot and hopefully he'll join us. I, does, he, does she have... Oh, yeah, she has onagers. That should really help this go fast. We'll speed it up just to get through it. How is our son doing? He is 13 years old. Three more years and he comes of age and we can finish his education and hand him all the things that we have gathered for him. <sighs> 
This feels good. Feels like we got this thing under control. Nobody is coming to their aid. Nobody is coming to their aid. Let's, uh... We do germ theory for plague resistance. That's cute. Do iron constitution for fertility. Don't really need it. Um... The minus stress would help us a lot. Considering our circumstances. I think... Minus stress... Then we'll do... We'll just stay on fitness for now. I think we'll grab Faithful, though. I think. So we've got this now. I think we'll, uh... We'll just attack him. Just to make it happen. Eve was wounded. Oh, we captured... The man himself. We could just ransom him for the money, which I think would be worth it, because I'm pretty sure we're going to win. Let's, let's just, let's just see what this looks like after we win this. So if we take him out, we need 1%, one percent, one whole percent, and we hold the war target. So we are going to ransom him, because since we hold the war target... Since we hold the war target, we can ransom him. We'll do that. Because it's going to go down, but then it'll go up by one in a few weeks or months. There we go. We are victorious. Wonderful. Great. Let's disband all. We have gained a legacy, which is amazing. We have more ransoms to do, don't we? I think. We can create the Duchy of Prince Edward Island, but we're not going to right away because we want Prince Edward Island to go to our actual heir. But we don't want to give it to him until he's of age. And that's only a couple of years away, right? How many years away is it now? Two years away. In two years, our son comes of age, and we can grant him this, and then he'll still take this, I think? Because he'll still be entitled to that duchy title, I think? Maybe it'll create this duchy title for him? I'll give it all to him if I have to. Just to be clear. Even if it makes him independent. It will make him independent, but that gives him a, a hearty start. A nice, strong start. All right, let's keep at it. Hopefully he comes of age soon. <sighs> this guy wants to seduce me. I do, I do, do like that book. You know, I do. Do we want to hold a grand tournament? Let's go to our son here. Right? Let's find him a spouse. I want my son to marry this daughter here. I want this marriage. No, you won't do it. What about your youngest daughter? Will you marry my son to your youngest daughter if I do a grand wedding? You won't. Dang it. Really had hope. Really, really had hope that that would happen. All right. Well. Who else do we have? There is still the Duke here. I mean, we could try to do this daughter of his to our son still misses out. <sighs> Too many alliances. Patrilineal marriage is dear.
I could send him a gift. And then try to do this. He'll accept without a grand wedding after the gift. I'd love to actually do a grand wedding, though. So we're going to do a grand wedding. Just because I actually wanted to do a grand wedding for my son. My glorious, glorious son. Summerside and Stratford. Excellent. Charlottetown. Kensington. Alberton. Montague. Okay. So once they're ready to marry, we will do a grand wedding. It will be glorious. It will be absolutely glorious. It's it's the bridge. So I don't know where the bridge is. Where is the bridge? I'll look it up sometime. <sighs> that grand wedding? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Start the search for whalers. This is going to be our second whaling trip. Let's send them out. Come on, whalers. Come on. Do your thing, whalers. The whalers did very good work. 159 gold. We lost some money and we got bountiful whale hunt for five years development growth popular opinion very very nice very very nice feel like super good about that that means i can afford the grand wedding and still host a hunt so we are going to hunt because we love to hunt <sighs> we go up here i think we're gonna go here just like last Time, we'll do a small party. And we will attempt to slay the beast. Let's start the hunt. Ah, uh, what a nice way to spend our time. You know, we're sort of retired from raiding, I've noticed. Our son might take back to that, though. Success chance. I don't really want to commission an artifact, to be fair. I don't think I need anything else. I could do armor, to be fair. Yeah, let's do it. Let's commission some armor. I want some flexible scale mail. Chain mail. That's good. That's what we're going to go after, which we will also give to our son. Soon. Soon. Yes. Once everybody arrives, we're going to have an excellent hunt. Hopefully she can successfully get us a really nice suit of chain mail. Or at least, you know, she. it's just... It's just minimalistic, right? Like, you're not going to get anything awesome from these simple forced ones, but at least you get stuff. And I like the idea of having stuff for a long time that's basically a relic, you know? He's got what is effectively his, his father's spear. Inspiration, a name to remember. I am going to... Only Neptune guides me, yes. So we're going to call this Neptune's Armor, because we've already made it Barabas's Spear, right? I spelled his name wrong. I spelled his name wrong. We'll have to fix it, fix it once I take that character over. A troublesome moose. Oh, yes, a moose! Of course we're going after a moose! 80% chance starting success. That's really, really good. This is an excellent little hunt. I think it's going to go swimmingly, like, like swimmingly. I expect nothing except the very best out of this hunt. Oof. Well, we'll speed it up for the hunt, though. Poachers here in the Chieftain's Taiga, they huddle together as I ride up with my guards, making a poor job of hiding the dead caribou behind them. You all seem like excellent bowmen. Yeah, I could do that. It does decrease it slightly, but you know, we're doing real well here. Uh, it's a lovely day for a hunt, which means it's a nice day to be outside. As my lungs fill with fresh air of the wilderness, I spot in the distance what can only be a gift from or nature's dedication to the outer stars. 
So many useful herbs and beautiful flowers, both for healing and malicious intents. I'm here to hunt. Picking may rise some eyebrows. I must keep up appearances. Yeah, that's that's true. We're here to hunt, not to pick flowers. We're definitely here to hunt. After it, we ride. Of course we're going to ride. What our horses are for. That's why we have horses. Forest is truly the mantle of the poor. A generous donation should keep them away till the hunt is finished. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Gained hunter experience. I will shoot it. I could bring it down myself. Is it actually a better outcome? It's not even a better outcome is the thing. If it was a better outcome, I would do it, but no. Well, we will we will guarantee the kill. Plang. That's how you do it. Once more, we have succeeded our slay the beast intent. Great. I will keep the memento. Also amazing. Gotten rid of all of our stress. We'll finish this hunt. What do we have here? Considered opinion. My armorer Lucy updates me on her progress, drawing on about the limits of hammer and bellows. I have a few suggestions. It's a martial challenge. Have you considered this angle? It's a learning challenge. Let me look at your sketches. It's a prowess challenge. The best chance I have is the 70% for a few suggestions. We'll take that. Our ideas work well. Awesome. It'll be of a higher quality. So we have Moose's Antlers. So the Moose's Antlers are 6, 3, 8. They're effectively the same, but the Mercenary Higher Cost, I think, isn't worth as much. So this is the one we're going to use. It's also the one we will pass on to our son. Let me see. Your fourth in line to inherit. You can create the Duchy of Prince Edward Island. That's okay. That is okay. A sensual proposal. Wherever I go, my screecher Sean is sure to follow. That look in his eyes. The word on his lips. I know exactly what he's after. How sweet. But no. You're a handsome man, but I am faithful to my husband. A slippery slope. Ma, Nina shouts directly into my ear. My eyes open reluctantly, one at a time. That's one way to wake up, I suppose. The small child next to my bed is positively vibrating with excitement, clutching mittens and an expensive wooden platter. It's snowing outside. I want to go sledding. Will you take me? Come on, let's get a tray from the kitchen. Go ask your brother. Nah, no, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go sledding. There's people in my dungeons dying. I have people in my dungeons. Go home. You. Convert. You. Convert. You. Convert. Jeez. Just in the dungeon the whole time and I'm doing nothing about it. Ugh. I guess it's just my way. Get out of here. Get out of here. You. And you. So we are going to start the conversions here. So this is... Maritimer. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna convert the Maritimers out and replace them with new fees. Good. Good. Let's slow this back down. How old is our son now? He's fifteen and getting there, I bet. I bet he's close. November seventh. November fourth actually nearly a whole year away okay he just turned 15 that's fine so one more year and our son is old enough that we can grant him the territory that we want him to keep and then his older brother can keep these 
seems fair to me. Seems fair to me. So soon, soon our armor inspiration will be done. Grace returned from her education under Mac. She did okay. Arrange a marriage between my daughter and your son? Yes, that's acceptable. Oh. So my... V all of my daughters... So my two granddaughters have returned. That's not my daughter. That's my granddaughter. Yeah. That's fine. Scheme at the court. Someone is trying to kill Violet. Who is it? You. You have money? Then throw him in jail. Why? So that he can pay the fine. No plotting murders. You're lucky you got caught. If you actually murdered somebody, it would have been more serious than a fine. The apple falls. Lately, I've been pondering the education of my daughter, Nina. Is scholarship really the appropriate direction? Since being trained in warfare myself, I have found per that particular novel. Okay, no, no. A varying skill set is good. She, she should definitely stay with learning. She's definitely more inclined towards it. Let her be. <laughs> Let her be. We picked it for her on purpose. It wasn't an accident. It's fine. Let her be. In a few more months, our son will come of age. And our armor will be done. All right. It's going to be our son's birthday soon. And I think we're going to mark that as the end of the episode. We're going to give him a bunch of gifts for his birthday. Might as well just prepare for that now. Give him this. We're going to give him the Book of Nufi Chivalry. I think that's a good choice because he... Basically, he needs the martial education more than we do, I think. Hopefully, he gets a good education trait. This should be ending soon. Right? Lucy's bronze-plated mail. We have four prowess. Oh, that's nice. Three knight effectiveness. Oh, that's not bad at all. Nice. I mean, she's not going to get to leave her name on it, though. That's a thing. That's literally a thing, because we're going to be calling it something thematic. We're going to call this... Neptunes. Chains. Yes. And then we are going to give that to our son. These are effectively birthday presents for him. So, gift him the book. Gift him the chains. Gift him the moose antlers. That's good, and now let's just play out to his birthday. I think we're going to speed this up. Is there anyone in our prison? Did we do that? We did that recently. Okay. That is good. We do have one thing we're going to need to do, which is we're going to need to create the Duchy of Prince Edward Island just to make sure that we don't have any kind of problems with succession. They're going to try to give this to our other son, but we can fix that very easily. Um, let's go in here. Oh. Feverant Feaster. Many months have passed since the lords and ladies of the realm gathered for my feast. For a feast, my high chiefess, it would benefit you, not to mention those among us who appreciate a good feast. If this was remedied soon, of course we shall have a feast. I don't know why I waited so long. Uh, we will have a feast, for sure. That's fine. But we're not doing it right now. We're not doing it till after our son's birthday, which is like a couple of days away. So let's just finish the work we're doing here. We are trying to go to this, and we're trying to add the law, we're going to add a Tanistry election. We have plenty of prestige for it, which means the only person who we can, well, we can give it to our daughter, but no. We're going to elect our son, which means he will now take it. That's good. Now let's have his birthday tomorrow on the 4th. Click. Ah, oh, he's really, oh, and he got one of the best traits, too. He has eight, he has ten Marshall. He's gonna lose two. Gain eight, which will put him at sixteen. I wonder what trait he's gonna pick when I land him. Because I am gonna land him right away. So let's give him Grindstone right away. Where is he? Right there. Grant. Title. There you go. That's yours. So you can hold that right away. He's going to turn into a powerful vassal, so he's chosen chivalry. 
Not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. We are going to put him here instead of Levi, who's been doing the job for a long time, but still, he's our son, so that's good. All right. He gets three for family on the council, which is great. And with that, I think we're done for this episode. Okay, so our son is of age. We've given him the first of his bequeathment. If we look up here in our succession, you'll see that he is now our heir. He's our secondary heir. He is getting Prince Edward Island, and he's already got Grindstone. We could give him the duchy title, but we want to keep him until we die. He'll stay our ally and vassal until then, right? Now, one of the interesting things is because he is landed here, I think... I think he, like, that just makes him feudal. Right? He's now feudal. Is that true? Culture. The faith of the area isn't correct, but we're fixing it. It's a feudal ho holding. The only holding. I think so. I think the proof that it's Feudal is that we can build things here now. Which we couldn't before. We can build a grand lighthouse here, which is amazing. It's a duchy building. Also build a burial site here. Siege works, all sorts of other things, but I don't think we're going to be building anything other than grand li lighthouses and all the duchies that we can ever control. Let's see what the Grand Lighthouse gives us. It gives us lots of tax. It gives us some piety, monthly renown, naval speed, learning lifestyle experience. That's cute. Development, growth, and popular opinion. It's really cool. A larger lighthouse and accompanying religious complex maintained by keepers. I think that's really cool. All right. Well, with that, I think we're going to bring this episode to an end for the second time. Goodbye for now, and I hope you join me the next time we are here with Grace the brave of long range. Bye-bye.